Praise the name of God. Praise the name of Jesus. In this church, people are being lifted every day. Families who are being reconciled every day. The blind people who are receiving the sight every day. It's just like being in Eternity City Church where people come and get blessed. But you have been at the gate for some time. All you see is what you think you needed. But I'm here this morning to tell you, you have been wrong all this time. There is something more you need than what you think you need. Ah, ah, some say I've been wrong. Say again, I've been wrong. You think money is all you need, you have been wrong. You think the job you refuse to talk to people to because of the attitude you have developed. You know, when people are going through something, they develop the attitude. So you think that is what you need. No, that is not what you need. May God open your mind to go deeper to understand what you need to fix your problem permanently. Because if I can have my leg back, I can go to work like other men. So I don't need to ask. I don't need to beg anybody's money. If I have my leg back, I will function like any other person. I can fix things on my own. I don't need anybody dragging me at the church door to become a beggar. When I have my leg back, I can fix things by myself. Tell your neighbor, I need my leg back. You can stay with your money, but I need my leg back because when I have my leg, I can work for my own money. Say my own leg. Say my own leg. Now listen to me. What you need does not need the ordinary people to fix. Because not every person who showed up in the temple was spirit was powerful. The problem that this man had, it needed somebody who had the power and the anointing. Praise the name of the living God. Now listen to me. What you think is helper is not really helper until you meet somebody who has the power and the capacity and the ability and the capability to fix it once and for all. Can I say something powerful before I preach? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, someone more powerful is coming. You thought that boy in the hood was powerful? No, he was not powerful. I say Peter and John, they are on their way to the place of the beautiful temple and they are coming for you. I say they are coming for you. I say they are coming for you. I say they are coming for you. You think you need rent? No, rent is not the solution to your problem. You can meet someone who can transform your rent need to making you a landlord. Because they carry the power and the capacity. Praise the name of God. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the problem you have needs someone who carry the power and the anointing. say to this, you know preaching is not easy. Huh? Like this week I've been shouting every day in the studio. It's only this evening I was not there. I told Vincent I'm not coming. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm not coming. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, your problem needs a man with the power of God. Because this man with the power of God is bringing a permanent solution not a temporal solution you are used to a permanent solution is coming i say a permanent solution is coming so peter and john they say to the beggar gold and silver we have none but in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit get up and walk Praise the name of God. Praise the name of Jesus. And it was a surprise 
to some people who used to pass by this man at the gate of the beautiful temple when they saw the man entering the same temple with Peter and John. Now listen to me ladies and gentlemen. There are places you thought you will never arrive but when you encounter a man who carried the mega power things are getting ready to change in your life. You cannot sit here while I'm preaching to you and you expect to leave this place the same way you came in. Something is turning around. Give your neighbor a high five and shout it is turning around. Can I say something? When you have the best, you can't go for the rest. Sisters, are you in the house? Have you ever met a good man that made you to look behind to what you used to call babe? You wonder, why was I blind? Ah, ah. Sisters, are you in the house? Ushai kutana na mwanaume mzuri. Mwenye alifanya ukaangalia kwa ile karia karia. Enye ulikuwa unaita babe. Unashanga na hii praying mandizi nilikuwa nimeperekana na hiyo. 